What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of McGrath Fishing. Me and Pistol Pete are going to hit the lake right now, it's 3.44. Today is the Thursday, we're going to be going to a southern Wisconsin lake again. And it is a full moon today, so I think the fishing is going to be pretty decent. So we got a full moon, and me and Pistol Pete are going to attack. I'm not sure if we're going to do a challenge or what we're going to do, but hopefully we can get on some fish and get it done today. Here we go, Pete, how are you feeling? Let's get it. Well, you heard it, like I said, power went out. P got off early. It was, like a, it was like a dream come true today. So here we go. I'm feeling good. It's a full moon. 75 degrees out. Feels like 80 though. Oh, f your man. <laughs> He's not a fan of the moon phases, but the moon phases are all about fishing. Full moon, new moon, everything. It's all about the time. So here we go. It's all about your hoax. Don't, don't listen to Rick Downey. Do not listen to him. <laughs> Rick's not going to like that. All right, guys. We'll see you at the lake. guys we just made it out in the water this is P's first time back on this lake we've had a lot of luck on this lake me and P have done really well the first time I've ever even started fishing this lake was with him so I'm hoping to get him a few big ones today we've done really good here we've caught some very very big fish in this lake so we thought about going to the lake that me and Trevor usually go to to catch those big ones but I have another good solid big lake that produces those big fish so we're out in the water P's driving the boat right now I'm just kind of getting everything set up camera set up so I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and here we go. All right guys, switching over to the chest. I'm gonna make the first cast. Let's see if we can get one off the first cast. We're pretty much fishing a giant weed shelf. This whole thing in here is all weeds, but we're right off the weeds, pretty much casting into them with these follow the action neds. It's about 78 degrees outside, partly cloudy, fishermen everywhere. Are you drafting right now? No. He took the first bag. Did you think he wasn't going to? Yeah. Take this pole. That was a wacky worm. Was that a wacky? Yeah. So I just hit my first fish of the day. It's a little teeny one, but he's chunky. So a little chunky fish, but I actually got him on the Z-Man chartreuse hook with a follow the action wacky worm, green pumpkin wacky worm. So maybe that's the ticket today. So here we go, first fish. Uh, he is chunky though, for a little fish, this guy is definitely chunky. Look at that belly. All right guys, what time is it? It is 5.06, first fish of the day. So I'll take it, I'll take it. The whole goal here today though, is to get Pia big in. Pia's not been out in this lake yet this year. This lake is full of big fish. And you know, we gotta figure it out for him. Get him a big one, send him home with a four pounder, and we'd be golden. Look, P's out here fishing, he's on his phone getting fantasy advice, fantasy football advice. I mean, I'm all for fantasy. I'm in like two, three leagues myself, but. You know what pick I'm getting, bud? We're trying to fish here, bud. Yeah. We're trying to fish here, bud. Football season's right around the corner. All right, yo, I'm gonna abandon this Ned for a little bit and go to the FTA wacky. I know most of you guys are like, why is he using a jig head? I just have found that this really works. I don't know, I just really like it. The jig head with the wacky, just a good touch. All right guys, so we're gonna move from spot number one. In the first 25 minutes, I caught a small bass. It wasn't that big, but a bass is a bass, so we're gonna keep moving on. We're gonna try some new spots. It's only 525, so the afternoon is still young. I'm feeling good about tonight still. And bottom line, we're out here fishing, having a good time. Hopefully, it will get better. Go. Here we go. Now we're on the edge of the weeds. This is my spot. This is my spot. Um, guys, I'm hooked on to my second fish of the day. No, I don't think so. I mean, it's a good one for sure. It's just not net worthy. I'll flip them. Second fish of the day. 
another little one, but it's another chunky one for sure. Got that belly. Here we go. New spot. This is pretty much my third or fourth cast in the new spot. And we got one. We're gonna get an underwater release. Here we go. Come on, P. Let's get it. Alright guys, so I'm casting that FTA Ned. Probably about 30 yards from the boat. Probably about nah. Probably about 20 yards from the boat. And instead of like constantly working it, like jerking it like this. I'm just kind of letting the line sink all the way to the bottom once I know I'm at the bottom. I'm giving it really, really slight tugs and just like sometimes even like I'll go down and just kind of pull it like this or lift up very slow and just kind of feel the bites. Kind of like that last one. The good sign is the fish are biting and is only 539. So as long as this stays up or gets better later on, we're gonna be in business tonight. A lot of fishing boats out, a lot of play boats. I see more fishing boats out today, and a lot of people at the launch that I talked to, they were also saying like how good the bass and pike fishing is right now, so that kind of makes sense why everyone's out here today. Keep your rod low. Hit that buoy. Net, net, net for sure. Okay, I'm, I won't move. This is a really good one. This is a really good fish. I will, I will. This is a really nice fish. Guys, I'm hooked on for my third. He's trying to jump, but I'm literally keeping my rod right in the water. Oh my God, dude, he's fighting so hard. He's fighting so hard, look at that. Dude, my drag is like super tight. Watching that, watching that. Get him, get him. Guys, look at my third fish. I literally just caught a pig. A pig. I'm going to get a weight on this one. Look at that. He choked at FTA Ned. Choked at FTA Ned. 15, 16. This is about a 17 and a half inch bass. I would guess this is about two and a half, two and three quarters, possibly pushing three. This is definitely a nice one. All right, guys, this is my nice fish. I'm guessing about two and a half to three pounds. This is my third fish of the day. Both have been small, but now this one cracked on the FTA Ned, and what a beautiful fish. I mean, look at this. A beautiful Southern Wisconsin largemouth. We're gonna snap a few picks, and here we go. All right, guys, that was my third fish of the day. I'm hoping we can keep catching these big fish. I caught that one using the follow the action net. I pretty much is just working the bottom, nice and slow. It is calm out here today, there's no wind. Our first hour out here with three fish already, it was a little bit slow, but we just found our first big one of the day. So hopefully it stays like that. And like I said, we need to get P a big one. Here we go. Oh my god, I thought you were playing two songs. All right, guys, my fourth of the day, and he went out of my hands, and it literally just flew out of my hands right here at the front of the boat, but it was a decent... <laughs> Yo, I can't even think or talk. So as I was saying, because of all that music, that was my fourth fish, and as I went to get the release, he literally just like flew out of my hands, but he's okay but at least the bite is decently on. This is, I have three fish. I have three fish on the FTA Ned and one fish on that FTA Wacky Worm. You guys know me, I'm a huge believer in this FTA Ned and that chartreuse hook by Z-Man, so that's like my go-to and it's getting it done right now. Like I said, today's mission, we're trying to get P a lunker. It's still early and the bite is okay. So that's a good sign. I think the more and more the sun goes down, the better the bite will get. Yes! Oh my god. I know, I know, just relax, relax. You real. Why is your... Oh my... He's hooked on. If you feel about to jump, put your rod down. God, get away from the engine. Put your rod out. Don't wanna hit that engine. Don't wanna hit that engine. Stick your rod out. <laughs> That's my biggest bass. Pete just broke his PB with this absolute tank. That's.
I know that, guys, real quick, before you guys start commenting and saying this doesn't look four or five pounds, this thing is huge. This is big. On the FTA wacky worm. P just broke his personal best largemouth. I know this video does not do this fish justice. That is a really, really nice largemouth. I would definitely say that's easily three and a half. That's probably pushing maybe four pounds. Gotta, three and a half, four pounds. It's gotta be close to four pounds, man. That thing just hit like a tank. I it honestly it pulled so hard I could barely keep it underneath the engine. Tommy had to pull my line my my pole up. That I've never felt a bass fight like that. So Pete, were you casting in on this point or were you casting out? I was casting in. I was casting way in. Just were you like in the weeds? Do, yeah, I was in the weeds, letting it drag on the bottom. It was it it just it hit like a tank, just like I said. And honestly, I didn't nibble. Just hit it, hit it hard. I switched over the naggy, the wet and the naggy, the wacky. I can't even talk right now. I don't even know what I'm saying, but it was. It was unbelievable, unbelievable. Dragging nice it fish, the dude. Yeah. Nice fish. All right, so I was just on the front of the boat. I was thinking like, wow, the bite is like slowing down. I was getting nervous. I have four fish and that was P's first fish. So I was kind of feeling a little bit bad because it kind of put the pressure saying like, we got to get P a big one. We got to get him a big one. And his first fish is an absolute mondo. I mean, that thing easily is three and a half pounds. I think it's close to four, but I don't have a scale but I'm pretty sure that's close to four, if not over four. So that's P's personal best largemouth, and I'm glad I could be here. Like I said, this is his first time back out in this lake since 2018, and you know, what a hell of a largemouth. Broke his PB out here. It was just so quiet. Me and him weren't even talking. We were just listening to the Cubs game, Pat Hughes, and then I was like, Fuck, I have four fish, P has zero. I started to feel bad because like I wanted to get him on some fish, but you know, sun's going down. Feeling good out here, and he just hit an absolute tang. We're gonna get a picture of this one and then release him. He's in the live well right now. Guys, like this video for Peas PP. That was a really nice fish, dog. That's what we honestly came out here for, that size. Anything bigger, is that's spoiled. All right, guys, so Boat's literally going by. He's probably about 100 yards away, and he's like, those guys are slaying them out there way better than Danny. Whoever Danny is, sounds like Danny's not having a good day. Here we go, here we go. Satellite radio. P is another one. P is another one. I don't know why I'm repeating you. Another big one. Yo, turn Pat off. Oh. Bring it up, bring it up guys. Look at it. Should I net that? You're gonna hang that out and smoke it? When I say hopefully it gets better, that's what I mean. Sometimes it's just cast after cast on this lake of pure big fish. Dude, thank God you nailed one. And you're even even if you didn't catch another one tonight. Nice. <laughs> Please look down again, Nat. What did I tell you? Guys, I told him to cast along the point with the point and he's hooked on. I don't know what this is. There's a pike, I'd probably run him a little bit more. All right, bring him out, bring him out, bring him out. Another good one, another two and a half. That's two and a half, three pounds easily. All right, so as I was saying, we're fishing this point and I told, I told P, I was like, make your next cast pretty much with the point. So the tip of the point is out that way and I told him to make it with it. Kind of the same depth of water, cast it all the way out there, he hit another one. Pretty much back-to-back -back fish. What? Oh my God, he's up. What? Yo, get away from the boat, stick your rod out. <laughs> he just caught a nice northern. A nice northern. All right, so P was just reeling in a follow the action wacky and just nailed a decent sized northern. I would say that one's probably about like, probably about 24 to 26 inches, probably. 23 to 25, around that range. Nice shot, P. He's third it. fish of the night. That's the seventh fish overall. <laughs> How you feeling? I mean, that thing just literally hit right in front of the boat, literally right at the, the right at right below the motor, and bang, just hit it. All right, we're gonna put him back. We're gonna get a quick pick. I just want to show you guys the fish. Here we go. Let's what an awesome it. day out here. 
All right, guys, we're on our way to the final spot of the night. It's eight o'clock. We have seven total fish, six bass, one northern pike. P has two bass, one northern pike. I have four bass. My biggest being about three, three and a half. P's biggest being four, and he broke his PB tonight overall. That was probably one of the coolest moments since tonight is P broke his personal bass, largemouth bass. He also has a pike and a three pound bass as well. So the night kind of came through for us. We're on our way to the last spot. We're gonna finish it out. It's eight o'clock and then we're gonna get off the water. back for the day I just showered I changed and I realized as I was going through the footage I did not film an outro so here we are filming an outro we caught some very good fish today one of the biggest things being P broke his personal best bass at about three to four pounds what an awesome awesome fish I felt so good for P I put so much pressure on him saying like how we we got to get him a big one we got to get him a big one and finally he got a big one and he caught a few other ones at that and a northern pike so so thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of McGrath fishing remember to hit that like button subscribe and I'll see you this Friday okay, so we're gonna go to the lap we're gonna...